the acclaimed scissors are out, so it must be time for another AEW unboxing. In this uh, video we're going to look at the All Elite Crate. So the All Elite Crate is a quarterly subscription box, and they're timed around the big AEW pay-per-views. So Revolution, Double or Nothing, All Out and Full Gear. So the original four, I know we're up to about eight or nine per year now, but they're timed to the original four, so four boxes a year. So the subscription options are $39.95 per crate, or if you sign up for the full year, that price reduces to $34.99. And that gets you two t-shirts, an autograph, a micro brawler. And if you don't know what a micro brawler is, we'll look at those. A pin, and then additional collectibles. And you also get a weekly 10% code to shop at Shop AEW and at the global AEW shop. And there's also another plan, which is just for two t-shirts and that is $20 a crate, and if you know about the price, it's about $35 now for a AEW t-shirt. So not too bad, and those uh, t-shirts are only available uh, through the crate itself. So I've been a subscriber now, it looks like about three years looking at my <laughs> statement. But uh, thinking, maybe tearing off, there's been some strange trinkets in the boxes. I might go down to the, just the t-shirt crate. Uh, I do appreciate my acclaimed scissors that came in one of the previous crates. But uh, also one of the trinkets uh, from the last crate that I wasn't too sure of was these uh, Sanjay Dutt pencils. It was like I paid quite a bit of money and I've got some pencils with some printing on it, which I'm not, maybe not too impressed by. That's maybe one of the least impressive ones. But we'll open up this crate now and we'll also maybe compare to some of the uh, products that have came before, which I've got nearby me. So I've got my acclaimed scissors. And this ships pretty quickly from the States as well. And we'll also look at uh, UK pricing as well. How much did I pay being in the UK? And here I am struggling with a bit of tape. So you get a lot of uh, instruction card, which would then tell us everything that's inside the crate. So this is on top first, we'll have a look first. So it's a metal straw that says, drink the Haterade. So we have a Jamie Hater metal straw. Not too sure what to make of that in first impression. I may be thinking a little bit that might be in the pencil category, but I will give it a try. It's not with the acclaimed scissors I always use, but yes, uh, a metal straw there. Uh, T-shirt number one. And this was advertised in advance, so usually these are mysteries in advance that you're getting the last ever Sting AEW t-shirt. So it's a giant t-shirt, a big picture of Sting's face. And then a little Sting, so I've autographed there. So yeah, if you want to scare people in the streets, go out with your big Sting t-shirt. Uh, in between the shots, we have a Will Ospreay Brov sticker. Take it or leave it. And t-shirt too, which is not black. So the one thing I will say is usually you get a mix of colours of t-shirts. There was a baby blue acclaimed uh, t-shirt like that. So this t-shirt was from a few months, uh, a few crates ago. Just unfolding it out. So yeah, not your typical wrestling black t-shirt. It's like blue, pink, good to claim t-shirt. It's nice to have a bright t-shirt because you get so many black. So I think I just now we've been averaging maybe one black t-shirt per box and uh, one of slightly different colours. So this is not black, this is a sort of olive grey maybe. And it's a timeless Tony Storm shirt. So it says, watch for the shoe productions. Tony Storm, timeless Tony Storm, starring Tony Storm, written and directed by Tony Storm. So yeah, please, it's not black. Still dark, but please, it's not black for that one. And we have our micro brawler. And it's Prince Nana dancing away. And I do have some of the previous uh, micro brawlers here. So this is one thing if I did go down to just a t-shirt only subscription, I quite like having these micro brawlers. There's Kingston, uh, Sting, which I thought was a really good one. Thunder Rosa. And Claudio. So yeah, some of the previous ones. 
I will take that out. And we also have a Dark Order pin. Looks things, and I've got a couple of the other pins that have came in the past here. So I've got MGF as the devil. There's little horns coming out, except. MGF is our scumbag pin. And a, a Bullet Club pin. I think that was from the day that we created. This might have actually been from a different crate, but this is a sort of example of the sort of quality and the size that you get. And now we have a mystery within a mystery here. So we've got a mystery micro baller. Minis special edition. So these are minis compared to this smaller than the, the full size micro baller. And I've got some mini micro ballers from before. So here's little John Moxley. Little Britt Baker. And a little MJF. And we can compare the sizes here. So I'll get my... So that's the full size micro baller sting and the mini Darby Allen. So it's like, yeah, don't talk to me or my son ever again. So inside here, we have a, it's all Christian cages. So the orange one, one into a chance. And there's a chase, oh, there's a metallic gold, only one made, metallic gold. Could this be the one? So. I have to get my acquaintances of that again. And we have orange Christian Cage. And I think looking at that, that was the most common. <laughs> uh, also here, this is interesting. We've got a DVD. And it is Kenny Omega pay per view collection. And on there we've got Revolution 2020 Tag Team Championship Page and Kenny Omega versus Young Bucks, Adam Page. Kenny Omega versus Adam Page at Full Gear 2020. Double or Nothing 2021 Omega versus Conch Cassidy versus Pac. All Out 2021 Omega versus Christian Cage. Uh, Forbidden Door 2023 Kenny Omega versus Will Ospreay. And Full Gear 2023, Golden Jets versus the Young Bucks. So, uh, it's interesting. This is the sort of uh, product I think AEW should be putting out uh, collections, like best of pay-per-views. Uh, we're up to about five years now, pay-per-view matches, and yeah, best of Kenny Mega collections. My only disappointment is the DVD. I prefer the Blu-ray, even though I've had some issues with the Blu-rays in the past, which is on a, another video I've got looking at the first AEW Blu-ray releases. But maybe a step in the right direction. There has been DVDs in this crate before. There was the Best of AEW Dark, Volumes 1 and 2, and the Best of Dark Elevation. And that, again, those are quite good collect, uh, little collections of matches. So you don't have to get, look up listings, find out what's going on, and you have to find them on YouTube. But again, shame it's a DVD. And there's a poster, so you do get a poster of the crates. This is uh, quite stylized. Orange Cassidy doing a punch at double one, I think. And so this is a different style of uh, this crate. So if we go to my other collection, you'd get um, sort of retro artwork for a, a match at a pay-per-view. This is like Revolution. So you get MJF versus Danielson in a sort of retro style poster. So yeah, they went for such stylized artwork. I think I prefer that. I've not used any of these posters. <laughs> And here is our mystery autograph for this crate. And it's an 8x10 signed by Evil Uno. And again, I've got some previous ones uh, to show here. So, uh, Brody King. Powerhouse Hobbs. And Sky Blue. And I have got most of my um, autographs framed and put, popped up on a popped up in my hallway so I still need to get around to getting the frames for those ones so other things that you sometimes get as well in the crates and previous is that you'd get uh, flags they, they call them so this is a Samoa Joe flag from a previous crate oh no it's a, um, boys, the Briscoes oh, and I do have a Samoa Joe one of them that's in its wrapping stuff because I'm not quite sure what to do with my flags 
So yeah, flags are quite common. And also like pat patches are quite common. So there's a Dan Housen patch, a Dark Order patch, a Jericho Appreciation Society patch. So they're quite common uh, entries into the crates when it comes to the mystery items. So you're guaranteed t-shirts, a micro brawler, autograph, and a pin per crate, and then you've got other mystery items. So those are the things you know you're going to get. So if you like micro brawlers, and you like the t-shirts, and you like an autograph picture and a pin, yeah, worth picking up. But it's the other items that have hit and miss, like the straw, the pencils, the scissors, and another one I liked, they had a hook uh, crisp bag closer. So when you, you say you're eating a big bag of crisps, chips, uh, you had the, the, it was a branded clip that you put on to top and I'm using it in my kitchen and some crisps just now to seal the bag back up. So yeah, they're pretty happy with this uh, edition of the crate. I think I've got one more before my subscription runs up and then I have to choose whether to switch down to the t-shirt uh, pricing. But I was just having a look at my statements and how much for the UK and how much this has changed. Uh, cost-wise throughout the years. So this signed up in 2021 for a year with UK shipping and tax. Uh, I don't think import taxes were a big thing back then in 2021. Can't remember when it all changed. With, uh, you'd have to pay certain import fees and they changed a lot of the uh, restrictions and barriers, the, the limits. So year one was £153 for crates. Year two, and the price went up slightly year two for shipping. They put the prices at $1 per crate, but it translated to $215.76 for year two, and that was £183.48. And in 2023, again, it was $215.76, but it translated as £165.63. Exchange rates have changed quite a bit from 2022 to 2023. I have to see what it is in 2024 before I renew. But yeah, so you have the fluctuation in exchange rates to think about, and that's also something to think about if you maybe signed up for, say, oh, I'm not too sure about this, I don't want the commitment of the one year, maybe I'll sign up for one box at a time at $40, I could jump uh, every every quarter, or go down every quarter, maybe you'll make some savings there based on exchange rates. But yeah, that's to get the crate. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you've got any questions um, about the crates or some of the previous contents I've kept, all of the spoiler cards of all the info of what's been on the crates over the, the, the years. So I have all the info in this issue about the crates. So if you'd like to know anything else, uh, drop us a comment below. But yeah, have a great day. Thank you.